No, no, no. <laughs> this is brilliant. This needs context because yes. this, I think people laugh at this. They'll clown on this for what it is. But it is an analogy for everything in the CCP. They will put things out there and just expect people to believe them and not question it. Yeah. So last week, we showed you, or was it last week or the week before? Oh, it was a while ago. We showed you this hydrogen-powered tractor. Yeah. Okay, let's just, we'll talk about this. Let's just show you a little little intro here. This, by the way, is uh, CG, CGTN tech reporter. Um, As well. Joe, Joe Yichio. Yeah. Okay. But more importantly, yeah. this is state media showing off their high-tech development. Yes, okay, so let's take a look. A tractor driven by hydrogen fuel cells, and that is autonomous. <laughs> Wait, yeah. hold on a second. And that is autonomous. <laughs> that's kind of like saying like, and that's awesome. Yeah, right? and that's but fantastic. I think she got the inflection wrong. Because it's supposed to be an autonomous tractor that right. is uh, <clears throat> hydrogen fueled. Anyway. People, are, people in the chat are remembering the tractor. Yeah, so you remember the tractor, right? You need to <laughs> yeah, you'll grab see. something. Yeah. So, <laughs> you wouldn't believe what we and the subreddit found. Yes, actually you guys. You know, yeah. th our community is incredible. Yes. So... Um, we all know, you might know her as Miss Wow, but she is CGTN's um, uh, reporter. So she's a state reporter. Yeah, state okay. media. Joe Ichio. Government employee. Yeah. So just in case there was any doubt about no, that. We're not, we're not picking on some like social media star. No, no. It, we have to show you that she is state media. She does all these things about like uh, poverty alleviation, vaccine, this and that. But she does it from a tech point of view. Showing yeah, off China's 5G you know, AI it's, helps COVID-19, this and it's that. It's soft power. Thing. Yeah. That's yeah. why it's in soft power hour. That's correct. Now, she put out a report about this um, hydrogen power tractor. Pause that? Let's just look at that. Abor I want to say yeah. abortion, but it's not born yet because it's yeah. not real. No. <laughs> we showed you last time um, that they even had like a Transformers logo on the front. And yeah. uh, this, this is supposed to be a fully autonomous hydrogen power tractor. Okay, you can actually see, by the way, the one all the way down down there. You can see the Transformers Decepticon Why badge on the front. Why did they put the, You know what? It's very apt because they're deceiving the yes, world. Yes, it's a Decepta tractor. Yeah. Okay. So what goes on with this this thing is it's supposed to talk to satellites with 5G technology. It's supposed to be able to go out there and do all this stuff autonomously, you see? Yeah. Um, so then you don't have to go till the ground because and breathe the horrible pollution. Yeah. But, and see. remember, this was supposed to be one of China's top 10 tech <sighs> innovations or top yeah. five or top something. Top five, and then she showed three. Yeah. Remember we found out afterwards that John Deere has been making something along these lines that actually works and is big. And, and it's, it's for cool. a while. Yeah, very long time. Yeah. Anyway, uh, now the important part of this is during this presentation, they showed this. Now, take a look at this. This is their CG representation of this hydrogen power State tractor. media. This okay. is the Chinese, top Chinese government yeah. putting this out. Please pay attention. This is supposed to be the technical insides of this, yeah. this tractor. Look at it. It looks high tech. You're yeah. like, wow, that looks incredible. Look at that. What's that? Wow. They're highlighting this gizmo. Look wow, at that. that. This is, and she goes on to say how it's hydrogen powered. So I just want us to see that CG little tractor again, right? Okay, let's yeah, take a look. it's very important. Because this is Chinese state media showing us this, okay? Yeah. So now, now you know it's real. This is the CG they show you. Okay, look inside. This is what it looks like. Wow, high tech! It's amazing. It links up to satellites and all that. If you if you watch the rest of us, it shows like look how it links up to satellites and stuff. Guess what? One of our subscribers on the subreddit is actually um, a th works in three D animation. Okay, and we had actually mentioned like, did they just like get some kind of assets? And he went and he found a seven dollar asset pack online. Okay, for three D objects. Because that's how it works. You buy your 3D objects, um, which you can use then in your 3D animations, okay? Yeah. So he found this, and look look what he found. Ooh, what's that? <gasps> what is that? Oh, no. Hmm. China. What could that be? Hmm. That looks like part of the tractor. Someone's getting fired. Then they're like, ooh, what's that? Hmm. <laughs> that looks so like the middle part of this hydrogen-powered tractor. Oh, I actually feel secondhand embarrassment. It makes me yep. feel bad. And then they're like, look, oh, wow, that looks familiar. So, oh, and look at that. That looks familiar, too. Oh, my. So, so this gosh. guy, by the way, um, fantastic. 
Yes. Posted on the subreddit. Do we have his? We we got to put his name. Up. I don't think he wanted well, me to show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, even if he he doesn't, you can go find on our subreddit. Yeah. So, um, what he did was he's like, okay, he's going to make himself an hy- a hydrogen powered uh, vehicle for China. Let's uh-huh. take a look. Let's see what it looks like. Um, this is his hydrogen powered cow. Because <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what shell you put around. It, yeah, of it's course. It's not real. Now, for you guys that don't understand. Mm-hmm. Those 3D assets that they show of how it how the tractor is actually made have nothing to do with the actual shell that's being driven around. Yeah, that's you can just imagine. Yeah. Now you're you can almost guarantee this tractor is not 5G. No. This tractor is definitely not hydrogen powered. Nope. This tractor is probably a crappy little electric motor motor with someone's radio controlling it in the background. Well, yeah, and yeah. it's probably some something that exists on the market already that they just put like a plastic shell over, because. This looks exactly like the diagram that they made, yeah. except with an actual cow. And no. here is the, this is the asset pack, which I'm guessing they probably pirated anyway. Probably. But it only costs $7 and you can buy this and then put together your own Chinese hydrogen tractor. I think that what people have to understand is you have to understand that this was put out for Westerners. Yes. This is for English speakers. No, not just Westerners, English speakers, it could be Indians too, right? Yeah. West or Western or Westerners and English speakers to look at China's soft power and say, "Wow, yeah, look at this development." We actually saw some pro CCP subreddits. Yeah, they were, they were like, this. "Wow, like, I can't wow, wait." I'm gonna. I wish we had this in America. Yeah, like, wow, this is incredible. Look at this technology, and it's like, dude, the state government from one of the the most powerful countries in the world are using their propaganda arm to steal ass potentially steal assets from 3D. 3D uh, render or just buy it for seven dollars. Yeah, for seven dollars, and then go and lie and and fabricate something in some like uncle's backyard. Yes, in China that doesn't do what it says for what? Yeah, for what? To prove China's like high tech. Now it doesn't stop there. I decided because part of that whole presentation that um, the CGTN reporter made was she showed this. I'm going to show it in its real speed, so the, the initial speed that they showed it in. Okay, let's watch. Let's watch this tractor. So look at it. It um, Okay, it comes up. Skip past this. It, it comes up to the sign, thinks about it, and then goes around it, okay, showing that it's autonomous and it can avoid vehicles. Um, then a guy steps in. This is the speed that they put it out at. It's very sped up. Yeah. Okay, so I slowed it down. Right. Now, <laughs> look at that thing. I know, it's ridiculous. Holy crap. It's it's ridiculous. I want you to pay attention to the trees, okay? So yeah. pay attention to the trees up near that pole up there, okay? Yeah. So we'll watch it in its in its full speed, okay? Here yeah. it decides. Oh, it's going around, it's going around. By the way, that is just being remotely controlled. You can tell by the way the wheels are turning. Yeah. It's someone is like, you know, yeah. like an icy car. Now, watch those trees up there next to the pole. Okay. So slow. Slow. Ah, did you oh, see that? Did you see the cut? Yeah, and then it was uh, optical flow, or not optical flow, uh, cross dissolve. Yeah, they cross dissolved it. And I'm guessing the reason is it was taking too long. Okay, so it probably had some kind of autonomous like a- avoidance software or something. And so it gets to this thing. It doesn't know what to do, and it just stuck there. So they probably had to like switch it to manual mode or something. And then then they cut it. Uh, and then this is more or less, this is still faster than it's supposed to go. Yeah. So look how slowly it's going around these things. Okay. Because it's probably going to be out. It's too heavy for it's weak electric yeah. mode. See this guy jumping in there? He's going faster than normal. But this yeah. is the actual speed. <laughs> this, this is their fantastic autonomous piece of crap hydrogen. It can't even make straight lines. <laughs> look, <laughs> look at that. Look. No, you, what you mean is the guy on the controller. Yeah, the guy with the controller. Like, Chuck and Baijiu. Yeah. And he's, they're standing behind this thing. Using like 1912 farm implements behind it, okay, to plow. Can you imagine how quickly those batteries ran out? Ah, oh, yeah. I mean, this this whole thing is just a farce and a joke. But for what? Nobody asked to see a tra- autonomous tractor. No one gives a shit. They were obviously given some kind of directive about like doing smart farming. Yeah, yeah, and this was sure. one of them. It's like a quote. And it was done in Luoyang. Yeah. And I'm guessing, just like everything else in China, they put together these crappy prototypes... They put together this like fancy looking CG computer generated thing, yeah. and then they get their investment money. Yeah, that's the exactly. The investment the money goes grants. in, and then it gets left and never gets taken past this point. The thing is, the top officials that would have mandated something like this aren't going to go and see it. 
they're going to get, th this is for them and for us, yes. right? So they're going to say, all right, did you get that done? And they look at it and they go, they go, wow, this, imagine this guy. So yeah. remember the CCP killed or got rid of all of the educated people back in old leadership, sure, right? Sure. So the people that survived through the party aren't necessarily educated. So you get some guy in Luoyang, let's say he's the party secretary in Hunan, drinking baijiu, his teeth are falling out from all the cigarettes he smokes, right? Yeah. Rolls over, checks his phone. He's like, yep, that looks about right to me. And that's all they have to do. Yeah. So the, the ac absolute half-assed nature of how they put this out mm -hmm. is fine for what they needed to get from it, right? Yes. Then as a byproduct, they can get their foreign correspondence, Miss Wow, to mm -hmm. go put it out for us to consume and say, and yeah. we're supposed to say, wow, look at Chinese yeah, development. Yeah, look at this. But look, this is a first here. With the help of um, our subscribers and our subreddit, we have actually busted and caught China in a lie. And it, and it seems maybe kind of funny, but it's a great analogy. You can imagine what else they're faking. Yeah. And it's almost nearly everything. Everything. Take a look. Again, we put side by side. In the top corner, we have China's official state media's um, you know, model. They basically use a video game pack. Yeah. In the bottom corner, you have our subscribers' model that he created. That's it. It's the same bloody thing. It's yeah. exactly the same thing. Okay? It's embarrassing is what it it's is. It's very embarrassing. Yeah. I mean, again, this is everything about China. Yeah. When you see them doing their military parades, look how fierce we are. And they show their, you know, fancy put together things about the army doing all this stuff and the military doing all this stuff. It's like the tractor. Yeah. It just has to look good. That's why they've done things like use footage from Top Gun in the past yeah. in their like news reports to say, it passes, we shut down a plane. It passes the domestic checks, right? Yes. They're like, okay, that, that was awesome. Yeah. They're like, we did that. Meanwhile, they took the millions of dollars they got to make that shot. Yeah. Use Top Gun for free. Yeah. And then go, you know what? No one's going to figure this out. Everyone figures it out here. And they're yeah. like, you know what? It's not going to get back to our, our leaders. You know? yeah. They're not going to see it. They don't, they don't use a VPN. Re remember last time they used um, footage from like the Hurt Locker and yeah. Transformers yeah. and yeah. stuff. In their to, military. In stuff. their military propaganda. It's embarrassing. And of course, for the local people in China who can't watch these overseas movies or maybe won't recognize it because they changed it a little bit. Yeah. They all see this and say, wow, look how incredibly good our military is. And it's supposed to work on the foreigners as well. It is, it is. It's supposed, we're supposed to be like, oh, so scary. Look yeah. at that. They shot this missile and it blew something up. Meanwhile, that's footage from a Hollywood film. Right. So what I want you guys to remember, the takeaway from this before we move on, mm -hmm. is always remember the tractor. Never forget yes. the tractor because the tractor is going to be an analogy every time you think something's fishy from China's state media. Yeah. GDP figures. Well, if they're making fake video game tractors then why, why would they not use the same rhetoric when portraying their GDP figures elsewhere? Yeah. The real estate industry, the development quotas, the car industry, right? COVID numbers. Yeah. You name it, China always, the Chinese government, the way it's structured and it's steeped in corruption and quotas yeah. that they have to match, that you have to understand that almost everything we end up looking at or trying to dissect ends up false. Yeah, it so, does. I wanted to shout out the subreddit. We have a deep understanding of China. Mm. What people in our subreddit can help us with is stuff that they understand, experts yes. in their field. So, so like it's the, a great combination. The 3D animator yeah. who, who found that, just want to say massive props to massive you. Massive props to you. And, a, and another thing is if you guys are experts in your field and you find something that's yeah. absolutely been falsified, post it and we would love to cover it. Yeah, be yeah. amazing. Yeah. <laughs>